Let me go ahead and grab this, this other call before. Okay, uh, we thank got about you. Two minutes before, thank you, sis. We got about two minutes before we actually go off the air, and we're going to answer the questions and continue to talk as long as time sticks around. But I just want you to know that, you know, once you go off the air or you log out or you um, get off the phone, you can't get back in. So um, don't do not do that. Stay where you are if you want to continue to hear the conversation. All right, my sister, 414, I know who this is. Peace. How do you know? Uh, girl, can I know the number? <laughs> peace and love, peace. family. Peace, peace and love. Uh, peace to you, Todd. Peace. How are you? I am good uh, and happy to have you on speaking um, about your experience with polygamy. Um, everything that you and the Queen T is saying right now is definitely on point because as the Queen know that um, me and her both have the same views on it, and you definitely hear right on the nail with it. Um, as far as it being that balanced, um, incorporated, and um, how we've been raised here in America to think a certain way, out of the rest is um, out the outside world. And I had to come into um, with everything, learning the culture, learning what it is, looking at the situations that's going on with us as a people, as a whole, how it looks like polygamy is always already practiced, but you know, like the, the thing with Shorty Lowe and his baby mamas. You know what I'm saying? Like they already do that already, but not in the collective sense that it should be done. So actually, I actually, for me, I actually brought it to my king, asked him, did he want to practice polygamy? And you should have, he was like, oh, my goodness, what? You know, he's a tripping. You know, because I also <laughs> felt it was a way, <laughs> also <laughs> felt it was a way for us to be honest. Mm-hmm. You know, and. And and we both grew, grew together. We both been together a long time. And as Queen T said, me and him both did start off uh, monogamous. And as things went on, you know, you see the situation and me being, you know, and things and still are together and seeing the situation that's going on with me loving women as a as a collectively as a whole. You know, I don't like to see my sisters in this hurt that we in and having the things that we going through and. And you see the women coming, and they're not going to stop. That's another thing I did, you know, for me, too. Like, I, I, you know, I'm very secure in my position. And at the same time, I want to have a say into what it is and who is the energy of the person that he's bringing around or who is he talking to and things of that nature. So I definitely agree with everything that y'all are saying tonight. Count me in. And I'm just so happy to hear y'all speak on this because this is very important. It was it was our way of life anyway. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, really, I think overall for me, you know, the most important thing is whether it be polygamy or monogamy. Before you even try to attempt to enter into a relationship with another person, that. Uh, Self mastery is is so important. You know what I'm saying? That we endeavor to master our own selves, so that mm-hmm. you know, and get ourselves together, so that mm-hmm. once we're together, then we can easily go into partnership with another, you know, with another person or or more than one person, you know. But if we are con- conflicted and fragmented within our own selves. There's no way that we can establish harmony and peace and prosperity with others, you know. And mm-hmm. so, self mastery is the is the foremost thing that we should be thinking about. How do I, you know, gain understanding of my own yeah. being and start yeah. to master my own thoughts and emotions, you know, and uh, you know, because. Only then, only when we're able to do that, will we be able to gain access to these higher levels of relationship. Once we've mastered the relationship with ourselves, first and foremost, you know. That's right. And a lot of times I think we try to skip levels, you know what I'm saying? Like we want to go straight to, you know, level two, three, four, or five, you know what I'm saying, without even, we ain't even graduated level one yet, you know. Mm -hmm. That's right. And so, and that's, so important, you know what I'm saying? We have to really get into relationship with ourselves first and foremost. Like the sister just said, I'm very comfortable with myself and in my position, 
you know, with my relationship with my king, you know. Mm-hmm. She's grounded in her and very, she's comfortable. She's not threatened by these other sisters, you know, none of that. You know, they, her and her king have history and and their relationship is grounded, you know. But same thing, before you even get into a relationship, you have to be comfortable with your own self, you know what I'm saying, so that the things that, you know, uh, the sister was saying earlier, the insecurities that tend to try to pop up, rear their ugly head, you know what I'm saying, those insecurities are not even allowed to, to you know what I'm saying, to, to grow within you. You know, you chop those down right away, but you have to have the tools and, the, you know, you have to know how to do those things. How to, you have to know how to subdue those forces, because they're forces within you. Insecurity, you know what I'm saying? That's a force. You know? Right. Jealousy, that's a force. Anger and rage, that's a force. That when that force rises up within you, if you don't know how to, like, breathe in and just, like, subdue it, you know what I'm saying, then it will end up controlling you instead of you controlling it. Next thing you know, you didn't did something you know what I'm saying, that you regret, and you like, ah, I wasn't thinking, I just got carried away with my emotions, and you know what I'm saying, <laughs> and it's too late, you know, you've already been swept away by the force, you know, but we have to learn how to master these forces within ourselves, you know, and only then will we begin to be successful in our relationships, you know. Mm-hmm. In other words, in a nutshell, you got to be whole before you get with That's somebody right. else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got to be whole. Right. You can not be by yourself. I love me. I can be by myself all day, every day if I want to. I don't have any problem. But you got some people who have to be around somebody else. They just have mm-hmm. to be. And if you can't master being with yourself and finding things to do, I mean, trust me, I can get a lot of stuff done by myself. There's no distractions when I'm by myself. But if you can't do that, you're going to get with somebody else and you're going to be so needy of that person that if that person is bringing on someone else, that's taking some time away from you and now you've got an issue. Right. Right. And, and you you've got you've taken you. time to develop your own strengths, you know, as well and, and, and become familiar with what your strengths are so that now you're not, you know, depending upon this man or anyone else to uphold your uh, your, your self esteem, you know. Correct. It's like you you standing strong on your own. You know what your strengths are. You know, you know. You've taken time to cultivate yourself and develop, you know, all the the, the virtues, you know. <clears throat> so that when you do uh, get into a relationship with another person, you're not leaning on their strengths and their virtues. You standing on your own square. You know, you know that by yourself you good. So, and with someone else, you even better. You know. Ah, I won't oh. sing this song. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know that song, right? <laughs> yes, I know exactly where you at. <laughs> what is it? I'm, I'm a movement by myself, but we're a force when we're together. Hey, exactly. You know I love that song. We, we me too. Mm-hmm. I should have. Upload and played it, but um, you know, we need, we all would love to have companions, but again, you got to be comfortable with yourself. You yeah. have so many depths to yourself that you will never be able to uncover them all. Not in this lifetime. It's so much. I've learned so much about Queen T just being with Queen T. So much in there. So, so many things I'm doing. I didn't know I can do the things that I'm doing, and it wasn't. It was because I was by myself, and I was able to discover and explore myself. Now I can take the things I have uncovered and unearthed and share them with my partner when he comes. It's a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful thing. All right, my sister, you got anything else you want to say? Um, no, just just a wonderful way y'all to expound on this situation and try to bring it into the our culture the right way instead of being having sex irresponsibly, having children irresponsibly, knowing how this white supremacist government is set up against, especially, I'm going to say, the black man when it comes to him having children, 
Even if he mm. is a good, upstanding man, he still gets beat down with child support and things of that nature. And so this is a way for us to incorporate family, nation building, um, putting the resources together, uh, putting um, all, I guess, uh, the contributions that one has in themselves um, together into the family to build. And so that's the most important thing at the end of the day, that everyone is being built up spiritually, mentally, and um, able to go out and carry forth that in their community. So thank you very much, mm-hmm. Queen T and Taz, and have a black fantastic evening, shall I say. Black <laughs> Thank you for calling in, my too, sister. Good. And I, I want to say uh, to all of you, because many of you are still on listening, and I say thank you because, hey, we still here, you're still here. Um, next week, we will be dealing with this topic again. I mean, we're going to talk about polygamy this week and next week, you know, and I don't know if Todd is busy or not, but we'll see if he wants to come back and help finish this off. Or, But at any rate, we're going to finish this next week because we have a lot of topics that we want to cover. We have uh, questions that people have given us to uh, go over and to tackle those questions, but we do want to do that. So please come back next week and join us as we continue part two of polygamy. Now, Todd, before we go, go ahead once again, give information of how to uh, reach you and get your music. Okay, absolutely. Uh, You can go to my official website, which is www.imcrown, and uh, there there's links to my band, band camp, uh, site as well as my SoundCloud. So make sure you go to my SoundCloud and uh, follow me on SoundCloud so that whenever I post new music, you'll be notified. Also, you can go to my Facebook page, my uh, Facebook fan page, which is facebook.com forward slash crown deluxe. And uh, make sure you like that page because whenever I post new new material, new music, and, and uh New content, you will be notified. You you will be notified immediately, and then uh, you can follow me on Twitter as well at Taj Crown, and that's spelled T A J H C R O W N at Taj Crown. And uh, let's see, I believe that's pretty much it. Also on YouTube, you can subscribe to my YouTube mm-hmm. channel, and that's uh, YouTube.com forward slash Crown, uh, excuse me, it's youtube.com forward slash purple crown eternal. Youtube.com forward slash purple crown eternal. And uh, make sure you subscribe to that channel because whenever I upload new videos and things like that, you, uh, you'll get notified. And um, that's pretty much it. I've got a Kickstarter uh, campaign going right now. There's maybe about 20 more days left. We're trying to raise uh, a few thousand dollars for uh, to release this uh, this new the next two albums. Actually, it's uh, Crown Deluxe Volume Three and Crown Deluxe Volume Four. And uh, Volume Three is called Culture Royale. And that's the album that actually uh, Libations is going to be on. Is on Volume Three, Culture Royale. And then Volume Four is. Incredible! That album is just is is next level, and so I've got some really powerful music, um, you know, ready to be released. And I'm just so excited about sharing the music with the world and with you guys. And uh, I'm just really feeling the love. People have really been giving me a lot of love on the new video, the way I feel video and the song. And uh, I'm really encouraged by that. But you know, as an independent artist, we really need all the support that we can get. Because, uh, you know, it takes resources to really do this work and put this music out there and produce video content and things like that. Things, All the things that, you know, is expected 